guys, welcome back to another episode. We are here today in the garage with Jeff, and uh, I'm, I know you guys have seen this before. We got this guy here. What are we calling this thing? Black sheep. We got the black sheep for now. Oh, yeah. If he doesn't paint the dang thing first. Yeah, so. pink. But uh, <laughs> yeah, pink. So we got it in the shop today. As you can see, the project unfolds. We're gonna trim some fenders here. We're gonna do a little bit of work on the rear bumper to clean up this stuff, take these plastics off and then uh, get these Torx bits out, which is kind of a pain in the butt. What did you get done today, Jeff, on the Jeep? Well, we basically uh, did a upper rat hose. And, and a water pump. And a water pump. We didn't do the water pump, that was already done. Yeah, so, we did the water I mean, pump and... Uh, as soon as you showed up here, what happened? Overheated. Overheated. And found out they didn't do the hose. Yeah, so, the upper rat hose had a pinhole in it. Yeah, yeah. It had a pinhole. So, so now we got new hose and we're good to go. Yeah, we're good to go. So we got all that fixed up. She shouldn't have any more overheating issues. Yeah. So uh, we'll get to going here. We'll get to cutting. I think we'll start with these bumper tabs, what do you think? Yeah, we'll get all those right, cut, yeah, we'll off, cut those off. And, and then we'll go the Fenders from there. and uh, the front bumper. Yeah. Cut yeah. that off and yeah. then we'll go from there. Go from there. Cool. All right. Stay tuned, guys. It's going to be yeah. a good one. This is the kind of stuff you get in the bumper of a TJ when it's stock. So this is the piece here. This is the end cap. This gets attached to that. Shit's falling everywhere. And then this end here goes, slides in behind the bumper into the cross member support for this frame. Uh, and what happens is they've got these one, one time use tabs that always bust off. You know what they are when you go to, uh, to unscrew something or you know loosen it off, take it off. The weld will actually snap because it's just a shitty spot weld. We get rotten with some rust and then you got to go through what we just went through to get it off. So what we did, we grind the head of the, uh, the, the screw off, flat to the bumper, grab a drill, pop it through, and uh, then you got Bob's your uncle, you know, start pulling some stuff out and she'll come out no problem. So quick easy way to get rid of these bumper tabs if, uh, if your welds break on your tabs. I have no idea what these are called so I'm going to call them tabs. Hope you guys are alright with that because that's what I do in my shop. <laughs> so now that we got that out, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna bend that bumper back and start trimming some fenders. So stay tuned guys. Now we're gonna trim the outside of this paint tape so you get a nice straight cut along the fender of uh, Jeff's black sheep here, so.
G left with, and since we use a grinder, uh, what happens is it heats the, heats the plastic up a lot, so you do get a lot of this bubbly, melty plastic, so the, the solve for that, metal file, some sandpaper, quick little here, dibby dibby do, and you're done. So, we'll take a look at it once we get the tape off and clean it up a bit, and we'll, uh, we'll catch up with you guys then when we got a finished product on the side, so. Happy with it? Oh yeah. Sweet. A little bit more cleaning up to do, but nothing. A uh, few elbow grease shots and a little bit of uh, spit platoon won't fix. So. Wow, that's actually pretty damn fucking straight, man. Yeah. Do a little inspection, find your highs and lows, take off all your uh, melt, I guess we could call it runoff or something like that, eh? <laughs> I'm sure there's about a thousand other videos of this on YouTube already, how to cut your TJ fenders, but I don't think there's a thousand videos of an ace with a grinder cutting off TJ fenders. So, and we'll uh, give that back to you, and we'll take down our lows and... Casa de Garage de Jeep de Garganis, and uh, we've got a lot done on the Jeep already, and uh, it's time that we earned ourselves a nice cold drink and uh, smoke break, so. TJ's doing good, we filled our coolant, we've got the caps cut off, got the fenders trimmed very nicely, I might add, and uh, we're about to uh, flip the Jeep around, and we're going to cut off the ugly looking corners that are sticking <coughs> the wheel off with the bumper, so. I mean, once that's done, it should be a whole new animal. We got the third brake light off and the tab here that was just in the way of everything. So now when you want ever, if you want to mount a 33 or 35 on the back, you'll probably only need to get a little, if you're going to do a 35, reinforce your tailgate. But a 33 should bolt right on without that third brake light there. And once you put the third brake light on, we can get a, an LED red strip and wire it right into the, to the wires that are here and put it on the actual front of the tire, you know? So, slowly but surely she'll get there. I mean, you've only had it for what, a week? All right, everybody. And that's what we got for today's video. We got a lot done on the TJ today. A lot of body work done anyway. Some minor trimming in the rear fenders. We cut up the front bumper. Made sure everything was nice and clean, no sharp edges. That's the product of the bumper, both sides. It looks way better, a hundred times better. Um, I'm very happy that I can help out a buddy, you know? It's kind of the way we live here in Calgary on the off-road community, right? And we all take care of each other, and if you got the heated shop, people will come to you, right? So, as long as, uh, as, long as Jeff's happy, I'm happy. It's probably not gonna be the first time you see a TJ in here, or definitely not the last, so. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, remember? To please like, comment, subscribe, hit that share button, and uh, hit that little bell icon if you want to see some more action, guys. This is what we do, this is what this channel is all about. Helping people out, going wheeling, going outdoors, and having a good time. So, stay tuned to the next one, guys.